Hey there, welcome back. How are things going? I know that you are great because you are young and full of positive energy. Spread your positive energy among the people around you because it is very important to stay positive in this worst situation due to COVID-19. Anyway, now come to the discussion. In our previous lesson, we have been discussing about bar chart. In this lesson, we are going to discuss about pie chart in details. So, what is a pie chart? A pie chart is a statistical graphic which is divided into slices to illustrate numerical portions. Pie charts are very widely used in the business world and mass media. Use pie chart to compare the proportion of data in each category. A pie chart is a circle that is divided into segments or slices to represent the proportions of observations that are in each category. To interpret a pie chart that you get in your board exam or your SSC exam or your HSC exam, you have to compare them in groups. You can see that when you interpret one pie chart, look for differences in the size of the slices. The size of slice shows the proportion of observation that are in that group. When you compare multiple pie charts, look for differences in the size of slices for the same categories in all the pie charts. However, look at to this pie chart. This chart is about population of countries of the European Union in 2007 by percentage. So look at to this diagram. So this red portion indicates to Germany, 16.6. .6. The population of Germany is 16.6. .6. So this blue portion indicates to France, 12.8 percent population. France belongs to 12.8 percent population. This yellow portion indicates to United Kingdom, and this orange portion indicates to Italy. Maroon indicates to Poland and this gray portion indicates to all other countries. Pie chart normally show proportion, which can be measured in percentages or fractions. This chart shows the relative size of populations of countries of the European Union in 2007. So we can only make comparisons. We cannot say anything about change. We can see that the country with the largest population was Germany, with 16.6% of the European Union's population. We can also see that the second largest population was that of France, with 12.8% of the population. We do not know from this chart which country has the smallest population because the 21 smallest countries are included in one group. If you are interested, then I am telling you, it is Malta with less than 0.1%. You can see that the four largest countries like Germany, France, the United Kingdom and Italy together make up more than half of the European Union's population. You cannot say that Poland has the smallest population. 21 other countries have populations smaller than Poland's. The 21 smallest countries of the European Union make up nearly 30% of the populations. So what have we understood by reading this analysis? So look at to this first section. So here we can see the introduction. This is the introductory paragraph of this analysis. Here you can see the message of the diagram. And finally, you can see the conclusion. Okay. From this analysis, we can find some important points. So look at to this point, use of tenses. 
Mind the correct use of tenses when describing a chart. If the chart deals with facts in the present, as in our example, use the simple present. If the facts are the past, then use simple past. If there is a connection between the past and present, then use present perfect. So how to describe a chart? With following example, we would like to show you how charts are described. Mind the three parts and do not repeat the global message in the conclusion, right? So first you have to maintain introduction. Here you say that the diagram is about, oh, mind the title of it and do not forget to include the source. Okay, then you have to write down the message of the diagram and after that, finally you have to write down the conclusion. So these three parts are much more important in analyzing a graph chart or pie chart. List with paraphrases to describe charts. If you want to describe the chart, you can use some phrases like this. The pie chart is about, the bar chart deals with, the line graph clearly shows, okay? You can use these phrases to explain or to analyze pie chart, right? So here you have a question. So let's read it out. In a survey for Northern Ireland Teen Time magazine, 100 teenagers were asked the question. Do you do anything else while you are watching TV? The pie chart below shows the results of the survey. Summarize the information in the chart by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So you can see that only 1% of the teenagers read while watching TV. 2% of them listen to music while watching TV. And 3% of them do exercise. 8% of the teenagers talk to their family members while watching TV. 8% of them do homework. 23% of the teenagers watch TV and do nothing else. 28% of the teenagers have breakfast, lunch, or dinner while watching TV. And 27% of them use mobile phone or tablet, right? So here you have some tips for, for writing analysis for this pie chart. So number one, start by seeing exactly what the pie chart shows. Number two, the second sentence in the introduction should summarize the single most important thing from the chart. Number three, the second paragraph describes the survey results in more detail. Use a variety of language to describe proportions, fractions, and percentages. Use expressions for comparing like, while, however, and so on. In the conclusion, summarize the bigger picture and mention the most significant percentages or trends. Okay, let's try to write it down. This pie chart shows teenagers' answers to a survey for Northern Ireland Teen Time magazine, which asked them if they do anything else while they watch TV. It can be seen that over three quarters of those surveyed do other things simultaneously. Over half said they either ate or checked their mobile phone or tablet while they were watching TV, while perhaps, surprisingly, only a few teenagers said they read, did exercise or listened to music while watching TV. 8% talked to their families and another 8% said they often did homework and watched TV at the same time. It is not clear from the pie chart if they did more than one additional activity at once. In conclusion, it is evident that 
A large proportion of families watch TV while they are eating, while almost a third young people divide their attention between several screens at the same time. These figures may reflect a general trend towards less formal family mealtimes and greater levels of multitasking. However, a significant number of teenagers still focus fully on the television when they are watching. In this analysis, we can see that the pie chart starts by saying exactly what the pie chart shows. You see? This pie chart shows teenagers' answers to a survey of Northern Ireland Teen Time magazine which asked them if they do anything else while they watch TV. In the second sentence in the introduction, the single most important thing was summarized from the chart. You see, it can be seen that over three quarters of those surveyed do other things simultaneously. The second paragraph described the survey results in more detail and also we have used variety of languages to describe proportion, fractions and percentages. You see. We used expressions here also. We used expression for comparing while however etc. Right. In the conclusion we have just summarized the bigger picture and mentioned the most significant percentages and trends. So here we have another question. The pie chart below illustrates how internet users 16 plus prefer to access the internet at home and in another places. Summarize the information in the pie chart by selecting and reporting the main features. Okay. On a desktop computer, it is 14%. On a tablet, 19%. Okay. 30% on a laptop. And 33% on a smartphone. 4% is used in other devices. Top tips for writing. Number one. Start by saying exactly what the pie chart shows. Avoid copying words in the question. Use other words with the same or similar meanings. Number two, mention the survey question what participants answered. Explain what the different sections of the pie chart refer to. Describe the key findings shown in the chart. Let's try to write it down. This graph shows the results of a survey in which people aged 16 and over were asked about their preferred devices for accessing the internet. The question preferred to going online at home and in other places. Participants mentioned four main devices in their answers. A smartphone, a laptop, a tablet, or a desktop computer. From the pie chart, it is clear that the majority of participants prefer to use smartphones and laptops with just 3% difference between the two. Nearly a third of participants prefer to go online with a smartphone. 30% like to use a laptop. A desktop computer accounts for 14% of users preferred devices. Only a small minority prefer a device other than this main four. In conclusion, since mobile and portable devices are in the most popular choices, it is clear that many participants are accessing in the internet outside their homes. The desktop computer is the least computer of the four main and more people accessing the internet with smartphones and their preferred choice. So how we analyzed this pie chart? At first, we have started by saying exactly what the pie chart shows. Secondly, we have mentioned survey question. 
Thirdly, we have explained the different sections of the pie chart. Okay, we have also described the key finding. This lesson will not be effective as it is supposed to be if you don't practice. So here's a home task given for you. Try to do it by yourself and submit it to the comment box. In our next lesson, we will focus on phrase and clause. Try to go through to this lesson. This is the end of today's lesson. Take care. Stay home. Stay safe. Thanks a lot.